everyone, I'm Srishti and thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'll talk about preparing for one of the toughest exams in India, IT Entrance Exam aka J Mains and Advance. It was not so long ago when I moved to Chandigarh after 10th standard to prepare for it. To be honest, I had no idea what my career would look like back then. All I knew was that I have to crack this exam. I know the circumstances for the exam are not the same this year with COVID-19 but I'll try my best to draw parallels from my experience to help students who are writing the exam this year with some useful tips. So about me, I took my coaching from Chandigarh, I studied maths from AP Singh sir, chemistry from Sangeeta ma'am and physics from Shivar sir. So we used to have classes for each subject thrice a week and on alternate days and Sundays were for tests which I personally felt was better than taking just weekly classes. So I would suggest try and identify your style of learning and then choose your coaching classes such that they fit that. I ended up getting a J advanced rank of 483 and J mains rank of 134 and with that I took up maths and computing at IIT Delhi. Here are facts about the exam. J mains is a one three hour exam. About 2.5 lakh all India rank holders from J mains are eligible to apply for J advanced. J Advance is conducted to fill about 11,000 seats in 23 IITs and ISC Bangalore. J Advance is two 3 hour exams. Paper 1 starts at 9 am and ends at 12 noon. Paper 2 is conducted from 2.30 to 5.30 pm. Both exams, J Mains and Advance, are conducted completely online. A student can appear for J Mains for three consecutive years, file for J Advance, he or she can appear for only two consecutive times. Students who rejected the seat of IIT earlier are not eligible to apply for JE Advance. National Testing Agency defines the pattern for JE Mains, whereas there is no fixed pattern for JE Advance. My two years. I wouldn't lie to you guys, those two years required a lot of hard work. My day started around 7 and I used to go to sleep by 11, 11.30. I used to make sure that I get 8 hours of sleep and I would use the entire day wisely. It is important to maintain a steady pace of learning to ensure that you catch up to every topic of all three subjects. So I made a habit of revising each class taught the same day to ensure that I revise it while it's fresh in my memory. There are a lot of books for JE preparation out there. I however mostly followed the booklets handed by my teachers. Completing each exercise of a topic once it was over was my rite of passage to the next one and I would mark any question that I wasn't able to solve and post discuss with my friends and then my teachers. It's important to understand that all three subjects are equally important and I would really want to emphasize that. So even if you don't like one of the subjects, which was chemistry in my case, do not let it get ignored. Remember that the questions on exam would not be the ones you've seen before, especially for J Advance. So make sure that you're working on your concepts and not just learning how to solve a certain type of questions. Most coaching centers display ranks after tests and we tend to compare ourselves with other students but instead make sure that you focus on yourself and try and do better than your own last test. Studying for two years with same vigor can be tough and most people won't tell you to relax but it's really important to give yourself breaks. I used to work really hard from Monday to Saturday and on Sunday I would give myself much needed rest. I would go for a small outing like a long drive or watch a movie or hang out with my cousins to relax myself. Game plan 3 months before the exam. Start writing practice exams every other day. Make sure to time yourself and simulate a proper exam environment with zero distractions. Also try and write it at the time of the actual exam if possible. After you're done writing the test, make sure to revisit and understand your mistakes. A lot of us don't feel like doing that, but in my two years of preparation, I used to do that after every test. It's really important to understand your weaknesses and work on them. Also, another thing to note is that on the actual day of exam, you'll tend to take more time than you did on your practice test. So in fact, try and bring that time down to about 2 hours, 30 to 45 minutes. As we know, the exam has three subjects, PCM. It becomes really important to identify in which order would you attend them. So as you start writing practice exams, try different permutations and see which one works best for you. My order was maths, chemistry and then physics. I was most confident about my maths, so I would try to solve that within an hour and it would boost my confidence for the remainder of the paper. Remember, it's important to maintain your calm and confidence. Next, I would do chemistry because it was quicker and I could solve it in like 45 minutes and it would leave me about 1 hour 15 minutes for physics. 
I would also try and save last 10-15 minutes for revisiting questions. Tips for the day of the exam. Remember to keep a bottle of water right next to you. Whenever I used to get stuck during the exam, I would take a few sips to realign my mental space. During the exam, do not forget students around you. We tend to panic by imagining, oh, that person looks like he or she knows everything and start undermining ourselves. Remind yourself that you're very well prepared. And if you are finding that question to be tough, so is everyone else. Do not spend too much time in one question. Have a maximum time limit, say like three to four minutes. And if you're in one question for longer than that, move on. If you still think you could solve that question, mark it and give it a try once you're done looking through the entire paper. For JE Advance, we all get a lunch break. Most of us have our parents picking us up. If you think talking about your first exam might put pressure on you, refrain from any discussion. Or if you're like the kind of person who feels better after talking, then talk about it. I remember going back with much more confidence after talking to my mom and dad. So I hope you guys found this useful. Good luck for your exams and for your future. Thank you for watching.